everyone, welcome back along to the channel. And today you are joining me on another pinhole shoot on a bike ride. I'm today doing, I think that works out maybe about 20 to 25 mile, depending on the weather surface. It's all a bit muddy at the minute, but I've got my gravel bike. Which is designed for on-road gravel paths with signs for some off-road stuff, but not slippery, uh, like whip mud. Um, I've got my Holger uh, wide pinhole camera for some stupid reason. I decided to go with that today. Last time I used it, I'm sure it was full of light leaks. The 10 times before that it wasn't. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but I've got it with me today, so if you're already watching this, clearly it came out fine. Or I've just accepted that light leaks are cool. You get filters and stuff nowadays, all the cool kids out there. I've also, to keep weight down, got my tiny little Art Tice CS20C tripod, which fits nicely in there. And I'm at the long man, so I'm going to see if I can find a shot here. Um, Let's crack on. Okay, so what I'm going for here, I've got my Holger uh, Kentmere 100, I've got about eight, se <coughs> 8 second exposure. I did try getting a bit closer to the long man, but the closer you are, the less you see. So I'll come back here, using my bike as a bit of foreground. Then hopefully she just lead you up the path a little bit. Long man up there, a little tree there might be in it. So let's try this, let's get this out of the way. These chalky paths are so slippery at the minute. Tires were slipping out all over the place. Right, onto a bit of road and uh, film the next photograph. Just stopping at this little church. This is uh, Lullington Church, also known as the smallest church in Sussex, possibly the whole of England. Uh, 
absolutely beautiful location for it. I think many years back it used to be bigger, but certainly beautiful. So I'm gonna try a nice little photo here. It's nice light coming across from here. Right, so I've got the photo set up. Church in the centre, and hopefully, um, with the 6x12 format, I should get in this bench and my bike. I'm basically just using my bike as foreground interest today. One of the advantages. But when the sun pops out, I'll get about two second exposure, so I'm just going to wait for that sun just to come across again. All sorted, found a bit of glass in my tyre. Um, unfortunately also discovered uh, my little pump was broken. <laughs> so thankfully I had a spare inner tube um, and some CO2 capsules to pump it back up. But that's all I got, so if it goes again, I've got to call in for help, let's hope not. Eh? Right, next stretch, Woodland Trail, then uh, up and over Beachhead. So almost about halfway ish, a couple more miles. Um, it's been a challenge that last little bit, I'm trying to get out of the wind in. Um, after my puncture, through the woods was lovely, then I hit a hill and my gears are just all over the place. I must have knocked something, turned to my wheel. But I eventually tweaked it back, it seems right now. So I'm going to stop here, try a quick photo of this. Um, you probably saw the red barn. Just on my way over. I've done a few photos of that, and there's a lovely, lovely tree just down here. I'm probably going to photograph again as well. So, quickly set up. A 
So I've got a nice uh, short sharp one second exposure. The clouds are looking really good. So I'm hoping to get them quite nice. So let's give this a try. where I was last video doing my seascapes and uh, not stopping there not stopping there today I am going to be following the road thankfully with the wind behind me for a couple of miles um, before getting onto another section of downland and hopefully get my last couple of photos up along there So I can't really resist this view here, looking down to the Beachhead Lighthouse. Um, it's a nice, nice view and point, point. And with the, with the road shooting off up. So again, another one second, I think. That should be quite a nice one. Clouds looking good. I'm just gonna hope the sun stays behind for this. So I've got one more photo left, uh, about another 10 miles worth of cycling, uh, so I'm heading this way, either along the road or up over the hill, I'm not sure yet, uh, but I know there's a coffee shop along here which I'm hoping is open today, uh, it's a bank holiday, so we shall see, um, but then hopefully for my last photo after that, so let's carry on.
So that was a nice uh, caffeine and sugar boost. Just get me through the rest of the journey. It's starting to rain. One last stretch off down here. Hopefully find my last photo and uh, head home. Head home for a wash. Let's crack on. Weather's getting worse. A load of rain coming in. Now I'm on top of a section of downs I come up to quite a bit. I've done loads of photos up here and loads of photo opportunities. Um, but I've kind of got my heart set on something else. Um, it's going out of the way a little bit. I think it's more up over here somewhere. It's got a little bit of a wet muddy ride to get to it. But I think I'll do that and that'll finish off my ride this morning. Man, it's getting bad. Hopefully it doesn't hang around too long. So, um, I've probably shared a screenshot on a few social media platforms recently of this gate with me taking a picture and my little dog Bugsy next to it who unfortunately got put to sleep probably about four or uh, five weeks ago today. Um, so yeah, just want to redo it. I had a two second exposure on that, so hopefully that came out all right. But I'm gonna wrap the video up on this. I've still got a few miles to get home, so I'll finish the video off with some footage of that. But I really hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed um, this little journey with me. Hope you like the photos. Um, I'll do a little blog post on this as well. But make sure you subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.